Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about upper body initiation. Now there's tons of ways that you can do this in the studio, but we found for Mermaid, using the foam roller on the mat is really great. Um, a lot of our clients have foam rollers at home, which we highly encourage for things like uh, muscle release, but then also we can get some really good exercises in and it helps to guide the body a little bit. So I'm gonna have Jen turn around and we're gonna be working on mermaid a little bit. So let's set Jen up for success. And what I mean by that is I gave Jen a little bit of a bolster for her to sit on so that she can find the top of her sitting bones with ease. Her legs are crossed in front of her so that her legs can feel heavy and so that they won't start pulling in the hip flexors to try to leverage the body. Now one quick thing I want to do, and Jen has the perfect shirt on because she has this nice ruffle line here to show where her spine is. I want you, Jen, to find an inhale, and then on the exhale, can you pull my fingertips up your spine like you're slurping your multifidus up leg straws. Very nice. Now you saw that Jen found a little bit more length in the spine. She was compressing here just a touch, and now we got that nice and set up. So I'm gonna have you place your arm on the foam roller. Mm -hmm. So right here, before you do anything, Jen, I want you to find equal weight into each sitting bone. Good. Now, again, I want you to find this nice pressure, almost like that, that blade of the hand going into the foam roller. And just with this, can you externally rotate and open each collarbone? So even though we're moving this side, we need this side to react in kind. Very nice. Now, can you keep equal weight in each sitting bone as you start to load a little bit of the rib cage weight onto the foam roller and going into a little bit of a mermaid, nice and slowly. Now here, I wanna see a little bit more external rotation of the upper arm bone. Very good. Very nice, Jen, and let your head be heavy. Yes, excellent. And you can extend the arm out and bring it up and over. Now this is nice because the foam roller is elevated off of the mat a little bit. So she can find this beautiful support in the side body, good. Now, I want you to find even more pressure here and feel like you're slurping the foam roller into your opposite hip to come back up. So we're really working these diagonals in the body. Let's see that again, inhale. And then over, feel like you're pouring your side body into, yes, Jen, the foam roller. Let the head be heavy and loose, good. Now inhale, can you find a little bit more length? And then use the exhale, slurp the foam roller into the opposite hip and rest for a moment. So it's really important that you're not just, you know, side bending from side to side, because you know, on an everyday basis, sure, just going for it and feeling the body move is kind of a delicious moment, but it's also really nice to take your time and find how much more space can we create in the body? Where is my grounding? You know, where am I hoarding a little too much energy? Where can I let go? And the foam roller gives you just that amount of support to be able to do that efficiently, but then also it gives you something to move in and out of so that we can find how our skeleton moves a little bit uh, more easily. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you soon.